Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I take down my sew ins and wash them, make them squeaky clean. Yes, you see this? Scalp clean. And that's after her hair been up for three months. Clean, baby. Clean. First, I'm going to start off by sectioning off the hair um, so that I can see what I'm doing. And you see all that back? That's new growth. Her sew-in once was at the bottom, the nape of her neck. I start taking the sew-in down with scissors sometimes, sometimes a razor. It just depends what I have in my reach. At this time, I had scissors, so that's how I started it. And I'm just simply cutting the thread, being very careful. Then I just switched it up and I grabbed a razor. Because taking a sewing down with scissors is time consuming, but when you do it with a razor, it goes more quicker. You can just um, cut just the knots. That's it. If you just cut the string, you'll, you're good. And if you can't see what you're doing, you can always have somebody else help you. So now that the whole sewing is down, now I'm going to remove the net, which is what holds my sew in and braids together baby yes this is a must unless my clients ask me not to use it i always use it so once i get the net off i undo the braids sometimes i sew the braids together just to make it last longer and not having you know, when you comb your hair, you grabbing something that's out of place. So to make sure everything is in place, I just like to sew everything together. And then I start taking the braids down one by one from the bottom up. Do, 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 do. This lady right here, she has a lot. Of hair and she also has a scalp condition that makes a lot of dandruff as you can see and so I like to take my special shampoo black carbon shampoo it has tea tree and um, peppermint oils and something else in it i don't know but i like to use that as a pre-poo before i shampoo the hair i actually like to do it while i'm taking down the braids because it helps break up all of the um dandruff and build up on her scalp and it, it takes me about 20 minutes to take the braids down so you know that gives it time for it to sit and you know get up in there and move some things around so that when i take her to the wash bowl it's not hard to get off and i'm not scrubbing and scraping her head to death by me doing this little thing it helps me a lot in the end a lot yeah i'm just Working that in and taking the braids down at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I let it sit in there while I'm taking the braids down. It helps it helps as a detangler and it also helps to loosen up that build up off of her scalp. So throughout the takedown process, you'll see me have a toothbrush or something in my hand. And I'm just using the toothbrush to scrape up that buildup off of her scalp. Now, once I have taken everything down, I like to get a brush. And you see how easily I'm parting through this? I promise there's no struggle because I put that shampoo on there before I started washing. It's it's a detangler and it's it's really helpful it's really helpful you guys should really try it and so before i even wash it i make sure i comb her hair completely out because if you do not 
if you do not, you see how clean her scalp is already and I haven't even took her to the bowl. But if you do not do this step, you can damage your client's hair because by it being up for so long without being combed or anything, it's almost like it's dreaded. So you have to comb all that dead hair out before you wet it. If not, it can not up. And that is a whole nother process that you do not want to deal with, especially with somebody hair as thick as this. Yeah, I'm just going to rub it on in. Now I done took her to the bowl. And I just simply do three washes. Three washes. Wash, 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 rinse, 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 wash, 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 rinse, 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 wash, 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 rinse, and then I condition her. I forgot the word I was trying to say, but y'all get the picture. Wash it three times. Make sure I get all that stuff out of there. And I like to use a clarifying shampoo first, and then a moisturizing shampoo. Y'all see that? clean baby clean clean baby then i go through it with some leave-in conditioner comb it out again brush it out again i shall say and blow dry it and now she is ready cleansed and ready for two braids to the back baby yeah that's what i do y'all see how clean that hair is clean baby clean crispy clean yes if you ain't had one of these so ends by me baby you better get to me and get you one before it's too late thanks for watching make sure you guys subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like my videos if you want to see more content leave them down in the con in the comments let me know what y'all want to see let me let me help y'all educate and slay the nine finger way too